So how do we find the percent composition of each particular element inside of barium nitrate? Well, it's not bad. First part is to find the total mass. So let's find that out. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write the elements I see in the compound. So I see barium, Ba. I see nitrogen, N. And I see oxygen, O. The next thing is to write down the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of barium, there is an invisible one. That means there's one atom of barium in barium nitrate. Now for nitrogen. Nitrogen is tied up in the nitrate polyatomic ion. Now inside of each single nitrate, there's one nitrogen. But you don't have one nitrate, you have two of them. So if in every one nitrate, there is one nitrogen, but you have two nitrates, that means you have two nitrogens in total. In other words, just take the subscript of nitrogen, multiply it by the subscript of the overall polyatomic ion. So simply, same exact concept for oxygen. You can simply just take this three and multiply it by a two to find a total of six. And that should hopefully make sense. Inside of each single nitrate, there's three oxygens, but you have two nitrates, so there should be six oxygens in total. Simply then take those values of the atoms, the number of atoms that is, and multiply it by the mass of each element now. So that's where the periodic table comes into play. So let's take a look. Barium here has a mass of about 137.33. Nitrogen is about 14. Oxygen is 16. These values represent gram per mole if you're doing molar mass or AMU if you're doing molecular mass. Isn't that kind of cool? Kind of represents the same thing, right? Even though they mean two very different mass values, but they do have the same numeric value. So let's plug them in. So we're going to do barium here. Barium has a value of about 137, 137.33. Nitrogen is going to be about 20, uh, excuse me, 14.01. And then oxygen was 16, right? 16. So then all we have to simply do is multiply these, uh, multiply this row basically, right? The mass of barium multiplied by one barium should give us the total mass of then barium of 137. Point, let me make that three a little neater, right? 137.33. The total mass now of nitrogen in the compound, each nitrogen is 14, right? Multiply by two, this should be about 28.02. And then same thing for oxygen. You got each oxygen weighs 16, right? You got six oxygen, so that's just going to be simply 96. 96. And to find now the total mass of the compound, add this up. That's it. Bada bing, bada boom, we're all done. So this is 261. 0.35. Now this is basically the first step to finding percent composition. We first have to find the total mass of the entire compound. And now finding the mass percent or the percent composition of each of these elements now in barium nitrate is fairly simple. I'm going to add one more column to this table. Bam. And now all we have to simply do is find the mass percent. It's very simple. We're going to take the mass of barium and then to find the percent for barium that is, Take the mass of barium, divide it by the total mass of the compound. So in other words, it's going to be 137.33. Divide that now by 261.35. And since we want it as a percent, you got to multiply it by 100. And when you do that now, the percent now of barium here works out to be about 52, right? This will be about 52. I'm going to run out of space. So I'm going to erase this work, okay? Make sure you write that down. So there's going to be about 52. So 52 point, how many times did I say 52 now? 52 times? Maybe. 52 point, there's another time. 52, oh my goodness, I can't now do this without saying it. Oh man, I'm going to, okay. 52.54%. That would be the percent mass of barium. It's a simple percent formula. Part over whole multiplied by 100. Now guess what we're going to do then for nitrogen? Part over whole times 100, right? So 28.02 divided by then that total, multiply that then by 100, and we're going to come up with a percent of about 10 point, I don't know, 72 or so. And then same thing for oxygen. Take the total oxygen, divided by the total mass of the compound, multiply by 100, and you're simply going to find a value of 36.73 percent. All right. To check yourself then, if you like, you can simply add those percents up and it should work out to be 100 percent. All right. And that's it, guys. It's literally that straightforward. Appreciate it. I really do hope you feel that it is that straightforward with a structure in place. It is fairly straightforward. All right. That's what we try to do. We got thousands of other videos out there for you. Different subjects. Please check out some more of our stuff. We'd love to help you with more. All right. And uh, yeah, consider subscribing and liking. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.